following this story for the past few weeks yeah. surrounding the merge between two professional women's hockey leagues, the PHWPA acquiring the PHF. The goal is to bring, quote, Super League, a Super League to North America, and it has its perks. The deal that was finalized has also welcomed its concerns. In fact, challenges that directly impact several UMD alums who have recently signed pro deals. This move will eliminate those current contracts. While the league is working on final details, the athletes who have signed or are currently on contracts are expected to receive severance packages. Not only does this void contracts, the merge also eliminates the number of players and teams competing, consolidating from 13 total teams between the two leagues to six in the new league. Today we spoke to former six-year UMD standout Naomi Rogi, who recently signed a two-year deal in the PHF with the Metropolitan Riveters. She has since moved on from that and says regardless of the shifts, it's slowly starting to make sense. It obviously sucks the way it happened, but it's necessary in the sense to to have the the one league where all the best players are in it and it's a part of women's sports is sometimes people make sacrifices for the greater good and i think it's just our time um we're a part of that group now that is in the growth versus the young kid who's watching it happen essentially if you look at men's hockey that's what the nhl is right then they have leagues underneath that continue to make the growth and we need to have that one super league before we can start adding more to the resume that is women's hockey. Rogi did share with us that because she is not satisfied with waiting around, she contacted an international team and signed with them on Monday. We'll have more on those details when they come out.